Greetings and salutations. The fuck? Oh. Boom, 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 boom. 
Boom, boom. Be beside the point. <laughs> hey, how do you go to a different level of... Hold on. What the fuck you is know that? What? I actually don't have clay unlocked. So I need to unlock clay to actually make it in the train excavator. That you do. So I will just go right ahead and use one of my tiles to... That is I very wise. Food. I don't know food. the only one who makes clay. <laughs> clay, there you go. Okay. It's just one tile that makes it easy decision. Uh... Okay. Go. Yeah, I didn't think about that either. Okay. Make it one up. Yeah, you have to unlock the receipt. The recipe. What are we gonna do? Yeah. I want to see one of them. Do they spawn in? What it ones? The, the oh, worms. The, the worms, yeah, yeah. I mean, the crab is pretty impressive. I was, the crab is really impressive. I was not expecting that. I was surprised how tenacious it is. Um, so, the guys of the game, the developers, are brilliant. <laughs> It is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, all glitches aside, it's, I mean, it's pre-alpha and it already feels very, very, very good. Yeah, so, the only thing that I say is a little bit the top is, so, you're like, I don't know, half a kilo kilometer away from, oh, for you as guys, like, third of a mile away from the crab mm -hmm. behind a stone uh, hit it can still see you and it sees you and that is over the top because i mean it can smell you fine so when you're close and you're behind it will still get you but over half a mile or whatever it is uh, that it's one really big nostrils that's what it is uh, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit OP, I think. But on the other hand, it makes it more dangerous. And, uh, um, but yeah, boy, if you're on foot, you, you, the only thing you are left with is run back to the water. Mm. Run to the border, run back in kind of situation. Yeah, I think when, once you are in the no man's land, uh, it will lose interest probably and go away and then probably. you can get your <laughs> ship, get your ship back if you need to. Oh, that has, has never happened. I have an estimate. I have log in time 2 minutes, 45, 46. That's not right. I will give me a... Uh, could out. Three minutes. Uh, I just hit cancel and sometimes it puts me in if it goes over a minute. I, I always do that only when it's over, over one and a half minutes. Sometimes it's one and a half minutes. <laughs> but this is, has never happened, so yeah, I've cancelled it. That usually means the server is not responding. Just failed. Just, uh, so Bastion. Yeah. You said you were not from the U.S. but in the U.S. Well, are you here on business or? No, I'm. Uh, I'm an Im immigrant, if you want. Uh, I came here from Germany. Oh hell yeah! With my wife and kid about 12 years ago. Okay. And first as students, uh, my wife was student. I was uh, 
caretaker for my or uh, homemaker and, and, and take, took care of the kid. And so she made her, she finished her master's degree at, in Ohio, at Ohio State. Uh, and we liked it actually. And said, ah, that's just nice, let's live here. And we wanted to get away from, from, from the, the city where we grew up in for, for 30 years, you know. It was boring. And, and even if it was Berlin and everybody says Berlin is exciting, Ah, it is exciting, and I've seen it all. So, and we thought it's easier to make money in the U.S. than it is to turn uh, than it was at the time in Germany. Uh, we have a high unemployment rate still. So it's just social sin. And um, so uh, she applied for teachers position as a German teacher. And she got one. And we live now in Illinois. That's freaking awesome. Nice. Uh, no, but we still don't have a green card because we have an idiot at the brain on top. My, uh, my great grandfather, I didn't have a grandpa, my dad, my dad's dad wasn't around, but my great grandpa basically raised my dad and he was uh, 97. He just passed away about two or three months ago. Two months oh. ago. That's so, yeah, he, you know, I'm not super sad just because I do believe he went to heaven and he was an awesome dude. I loved him so much. And my grandma passed away when I was like 12 and he loved her so much and he just was so ready to be with her. Yeah, that, I understand that. Yeah. yeah my, my mom died a, a week ago after five years of super sickness and illness. I'm sorry, she was, dude. was bad bound for five years and... It was a relief for everyone, including my mom, uh, that you could pass finally on because she was barely there, or recognizing nothing. And right. my, dad, my dad is Catholic, so he would never pull anything out, you know. And so I said, "Dude, uh, this is no life for not for the woman and not for you." Listen, so he stuck for the five years. Finally, it's watch of sleep when she passed, and uh, that was it. So, um, and that is good for him. He's now 75, and he can finally, you know, get get to do what you do when you're retired. Yeah. Uh, instead of being full-time nurse, look uh, for your wife. And she was, as I said, she was. We had a hospital bed in the house with, with IVs and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, yeah, so that they got help from a hospital nurse as well twice a week. She would take blood pressure and stuff like that. Um, they ate the water bag. Where's the water bag? It's not here. Oh, fuck, I hate what happened. Must be so close. Yeah, so... Uh, it was good for her. But, um, yeah, since... The travel ban... Uh, also... The coronavirus... Uh, makes it impossible to bury her. So she's cremated, and... We are uh, gonna wait after all that is over uh, to have a service uh, at the funeral. Yeah. Uh, no. So yeah, back to the. So now we're here, and um, and we're still waiting on on, on our. It's a little bit annoying, but yeah. My grandpa, though, um, I was going to tell you, he, he, he was 97. His mom and dad actually moved here from Germany. Oh. And so I'm like, I'm like almost 75% German. Yeah. So I, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but, um, but yeah, his, his mom and dad, Bertha in Berlin, um, I've seen pictures of them. They actually have some old, like, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, and I, I haven't done it yet, oh. but when he passed away... We were, I hate to say it like this, but basically my dad and I, 
if he ever needed something, we were right there. We'd go and fix his pipes. We would, you know, help him replace toilets. Like, like yeah. we were there for my grandpa. Yeah. And so he told my grandma when he passed away um, to have me and my dad come in, take whatever the frick we wanted. And so uh, we went in and grabbed a bunch of stuff, and he had all these boxes of, like, old, like, film stuff. And so I'm going to buy something that I can watch him with. But he yeah, would tell yeah. me stories about, like, them and stuff. And he said if it wasn't for grass and rabbits during the Great Depression, yeah. that they would have died. You know, he lived through that. And so... Yeah. But... Oh, our time. Yeah, that sounds awesome, man. And uh, try to get a projector or something. Like, and, uh, and then have a... Have a fixed phone or something ready and, and film it once you let it roll because celluloid or the stuff where film is on has only a limited lifetime <coughs> yeah, well, really? and we'll get better uh, or it is said that officially quality lifetime is 35 years uh, huh. but of, of course it can be longer but then they, they here easily the more and more can can play them but they they should be able to after 70 years should still be able to play them they were a lot of them are like packed they're in like plastic bags or they're in like containers yeah that's good. like metal tins so yeah. my hope was that they hadn't been exposed like they would still work but i'm obviously gotta find out they're expensive though i was looking at them they're like 300 bucks if you want to get a good one and i'm just like holy crap but now with the stimulus checks I honestly could get one. My my check was twenty seven hundred, and they upped my unemployment from nice. three or two hundred a week to seven hundred a week. And instead nice. of doing biweekly payments, they're then doing weekly. So um, I have so much money, I'm just sitting at home. Like I'm not gonna spend any of it. I'll just save it for now. And now I don't know if you guys heard, but there was talk about them giving everyone twenty four thousand dollars. The only thing I could think of was like when the Great Depression happened or whatever, and so to fix it, countries were just printing their money and giving it to people. Yeah. And it just, like, made everything crash. So I told my dad, I said, as soon as you get it, spend it on stuff you need, because I would almost guarantee that everything's price is going to go up. They won't so. do that. That's that's just administration who tries to make some points with the voters. Believe me. You can't <laughs> inflate. Not that's that's not how you fix an economy. What's well, the 1200 barrel we found? Yeah, the 1200 was was very contentious. Well, I got more than that. I heard it was a loan. It's not a loan. No. It's no. Tons of you have kids too. It's 1200 per person. It's it's technically oh, a I future tax credit. Yeah, you will less you get get less taxes back if you have to pay taxes. But um, that probably won't happen anyway since everybody's on the boat. Yeah, we are lucky that my wife is a teacher because we don't get anything. Immigrants. No check, no nothing. Mm. But that's fine, we still have a job and that's more important. Yeah. And we're doing alright, we live in the countryside, pretty isolated. So, no one comes by or so, you know, without calling or stuff like that. So we're pretty secure for now. God knows what the virus, virus comes up with in the future. So, once more, big jump? No, that's the wrong canyon. <laughs> this is so, you know, it's so easy. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do bad, man. He's playing Lego Worlds. I freaking love that game. I actually played it myself for a while. It is a good game. Yeah, I made I made my pet snake a bed. <laughs> oh, awesome! They said awesome.
Oh man, the, there's so many people on the hard tile that it's starting to get laggy. Yeah, I'm saying prime time is not a good time to be around, to be honest. Yeah. I, I found one fabricator, I guess, and I got the clay. So, I mean, Wonderful. there is always that. Uh, I'm actually that... gonna loop back around and, and see if how the clay is doing, actually. Uh, that is good. Call that a success if you make it over the border. Uh, does anyone have any bone splinters that they would be willing to trade for? I have a bunch of hide, and uh, I have some like level 20 and 30 earth wax, and uh, I the, uh, I, four mushrooms. I got some bone splinters, but not much. Yeah, I need to. I'm gonna spend. I keep saying this. I'm gonna spend a day just hard but farming. I would, uh, a bunch of but I need rupu vine, so I give you my bone yeah. splinters if you give me rupu vine. It doesn't. Bro, need to I be got there. stacks on stacks. You can. Take them, yeah, it's all good. I'll, I'll do that. Um, by the way, just to let you guys know, like, I don't know why, but prices are so freaking crazy on the trade center in this tile. Like, bone splinters where I came from were going for like 12 a piece, and they're like 34 a piece here. It's harder yeah. to find them here, probably. I farmed uh, two stacks today, yeah, the, yeah, not it's sometimes they're all there, but they're sometimes all groups come through and, and get them all. And, yeah, and um, and super rare are quality bone splinter. I mean, oh my we have gosh! Three of them mapped out. We have three quality bone splinter spots mapped out. Yeah, and one doesn't even spawn there all the time. Yeah. It spawns semi consistently because I have gone back and it has been there, but it, I don't know what what variable changes up where it spawns. So still figuring that out. Here, I'm while I'm at the top of the I will just post the resource map. What did you say, Rudder? I blame his booty. Oh, you were, your blaming game is starting again. It's on point today. <laughs> on point. I'll go get you those uh, Rupu Vine right now. Yahoo! I'm coming! <laughs> Double flip! Damn right, you'll get those Rupu. Uh, I got 369, bro. Take 169. Oh, did I land on you, Blidor? No. Okay. I touched down, but on my feet. Perfect. Did you just say you touched tips on your feet? Mm. <laughs> touched down. How do you say that? I landed on my feet. There you go. I need to rename this picture so I can find it. Uh, and by the way, Roder, if you keep making jokes about my English, I start talking in German to you only. <laughs> oh. Then I'll have oh, to speak Frisian. Das, das ist verboten. Or a uh, country tribe. You know, Polish or Russian. What do you prefer? <coughs> I'll Something have to like speak Frisian to you. Frisian? Yeah. What is Frisian? Frisian is the, the middle ground between German and English. Yep. In the very north of Germany, they speak Frisian. And, like North uh, Germany and West Holland. Yeah. And uh, I actually can't understand Frisian. Speaking Nobody can. It's actually. okay. Um, <coughs> so. Can you, you know those quick things that you can grapple to on your ships that you can build, I forget what they're called. Yeah, uh, walker, grapple, walker, or walker climber. Can you build those on top of your house so that you could quick climb Yes, your yes you can. Oh, yes. Yeah. So be build yourself a tower like I did. That's, I'm literally taking your advice and building medium walls and stuff right now. That's why I need those. I just went through, uh, like almost 200 and some odd bone splinters. Yeah. So let me look it up. I haven't taken the advice yet. I'm still stubborn. Well, you have made a ton of other resources, so true. That is absolutely excuse. And I'm so giving that... fragments to all the new members. Yeah, this bro freaking loaded me up. What a freaking boss! Oh, first trash of the day. Serving it up last oasis with. Right. That's uh before I turn down my graphics, I got video allocating. <laughs>
Warp Productions, what's up? Once an hour and is that you, Head Warp? Yeah, is that you, Matt? Yeah, is that you? It's better now. God, I don't care. It's cool. How are you? Thank you for the follow. Oh, did it crash on Welcome me? Welcome to the trauma unit. Did it crash on you? Or did it disconnect everyone? No, it crashed on me. Crashed on you too? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, it's not crashed on me yet. Uh, where Maybe was that other? No, I, I crashed out of my Power. own. Look at the map. I was trying to build a foundation on part of my house and it wasn't letting me. Yeah, phone. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Wow, there it goes. It did it. Oh, it did it. of course it freaking stuck me inside. That's one thing that I can't stand is getting stuck inside your own case, dude. Yeah. The best way to get unstuck is or. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. No, honestly, it is. I just respawn on my ship. All F what? Don't do Alt it. Don't do it. No, that really. If, if if you like get stuck on the wheel or something, or you stuck inside geometry, just that's all that four. That's last resort, though. What is it? It closes your game. Alt F four is just like, like kill instant everything. log out. I won't close. Uh, what I do sometimes disconnect myself. That's that's that what works. it does. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. I guess it's just. Uh, it doesn't close the game. It does. Well, yeah, it closes the game in a way. The first uh, layer of the game where you yeah, have to yeah, play. Yeah. The yeah, that, just I do that. The software right out. And I do that all the time when I get stuck in wheels or so. It's perfect. Yeah, because you just come right back in, two feet to the left. Yeah. The thing is, your the game doesn't quit. You totally you stay on the map. And your ship and everything. So, right. Uh, and that's why it's a safe way to do that, because all the assets and stuff is, is still there, and so you don't mess up to something, like in other games, when you do that, you know. Here I am. Yeah. Trying to kick me to the curb, to the back, to the ditch, to the dump, but I'm back in the pitch with a pump. Rap God. I don't know Twisted it. I do not. Should. Twisted. Uh, Drift, you have 26, uh, 23. I don't know if that much helps. I have 31 clay so far. Anything helps, bro. I appreciate it, man. I, I got oh. you with the Drift Vines. Okay, where are you? I'm where over by my you? base. I'm, I'm redoing, like, everything right now. Remember, yeah. I need three ceramic. Put a, uh, Let me unpack this campfire in the middle. Oh, the windows, like the little, uh, villa. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, right there. Uh, and I put the... I'm going in a weird... Wow, that's a lot. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Thank uh, you. and I put I need back to pay attention the splinter, so I'll pull you. Thank you, bro. Massive help. I gotta build these roofs. Oh, wood chefs. I need lots of wood chefs. Ah, uh, God, we can make them for you. Do we have a machine for them? Yeah, I just gotta go collect more wood because I don't want to use my, uh. What do you call it? I don't want to use my good wood. wood. Yes, wood, yeah. I bought you yeah. speed. That I understand. Yeah, he's already been conditioned to that kind of stuff through me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? That's funny. Look, look at that. Okay, there's some of these old logs on the ground, right? Yeah. Okay, just walk the perpendicular to it. Uh -huh. So, like, let's say it's a, a little bit two or three feet away from the wet ends. Okay. Ooh, I need a lot of bone splinters from the shit. Yeah. Go yeah. to the hard map and a spider and run to the middle. Just go around getting. And then yeah. your, your char is doing. Uh, <laughs> I can't describe what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of uh, sneaking around the log. Oh, yeah, it looks very funny. 
It looks funny. Gay. Ich hab made it. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. I'm gonna do one more circuit of the inner island, and if I don't find it, I'll just wait till tomorrow morning. Um. Fifty. I'm going uh, hunting rag boxes. Whenever I see a bone, I'm gonna splint it for you. Thanks, dude. Arrows. Though. Well, I will be able to. No, Shrifty, yeah. Did I say blue door? No, I did. Oh, you. Okay. What did you say? Well, I will. Oh, I thought I had really good luck finding the tablet, the fabricator, right away. But then I'm looking and looking here and not finding anything again, so... Well, if you find the good fabricator, you get to make four tablets from it. I know, I'm... I... Where is the monument at? It costs, uh, a, a little bit more. I think it's a thousand torque to make four, which is still Ooh. worth it. Hey, those blue lizard things in the desert, how hard are those? They're jump on hard. their back. Just jump on their backs, though. Yeah. Easier easy. said than done, though. Uh, jumping on the back sometimes does not... Uh, you have to do it from a higher point, so in a stiletto... It does yeah. not work well from a, sti from a spider. You can do it with a dinghy. I'll just... But they hit like a brick. Hey, dude. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, if you fall down, then... Good luck. Best, best get to... Because there's no way to block them. Yeah, it's... I find that a little strange that you can't... I mean... I get it, but... I wish you could block them. Okay... Alright. Tilt, tilt, tilt. This is this is the area I was at before where the crab chased me through that guy's base. <laughs> Poor guy. His Did base he wreck is his tech. base? Is it's still intact? I think he repaired all the damage. Nope. There's a big hole in the top of it still. Well, then go in the top and steal his shit. I'll see. I'll see if I can. <laughs> fucking hop in there and fucking black the van. Get all his guards. Is that actually a horn base? It kind of is. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> this guy seems <clears throat> drunk. Well, you know, we're not the kind of people that take everything. We just take a little bit of something. No, it's not. It's a pretty well-built base, actually, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's got a, it's got an outer buffer layers for like bombs and stuff like that, so it can't immediately blast into the walls. Smart. I'm surprised it doesn't have more root boost links up though. Awesome. Just to let you know, your bedtime is in five minutes ago. 
Close. Yeah, the rest of my family seems to have lost the concept of, of going to sleep at any decent time. Yeah, I, I, live, I mean, same, I guess it's... <laughs> same here, same here. Uh, my my five-year-old daughter goes bad at 11 p.m. Mm. Oh, goddamn, the door did about you? Sock in my body. It's all right, though. We need to build one of those jumpy thingies on your... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, I tried fitting, but it's just dingy. I could do it, but that sound, I guess. Yeah, so well, the, the great thing about the jumpy thing is, is you can move them to another ship after you build a new one. True. Uh, yeah. Daddy, you're almost on your house. I'm I'm just sorting things right now. So that people don't take my crap. Can they even get in? Because they break the ship. Don't you think it? Oh, yeah, if they it's break a, through it, it's a big it, effort get to get out of ship. You gotta be a big target. True. You playing Zelda now, Bruce? Yeah. Oh, I didn't freaking listen. What? Yeah, he told me. Oh, Bedtime is rolled back. <laughs> yeah. Said you could find him in these forested areas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Julie, we'll they're gonna be on a flat one. Yeah, I know. I, that's why I usually try to roam. Can you walk? Come with it. We don't have any more. Sorry, Dicky Dog. giving away kits on the hard tile, I'm gonna pass because that means maybe they won't be taking my fabricators. Alright, let's see. You know, wood, stone. Twisted crew? Do we know them? I do not know them. Uh -huh. Yes, Green you can. go? They're new on the tile, obviously. No, you can't. Grandma said that you can. Well, you can put water in it. Put water in it up in that way. Is that a ship over there? That is crazy looking. Looks like dragon wings. That'd be medium wings then. I want them so bad. Oh, there's, there's two of them. I'm gonna turn around. Uh, okay. Yeah, I want the medium wings really badly, too. For what? Stiletto? Yeah. For one of them. I'm probably gonna save up for the Hornet. I, mean, uh, I kept thinking about it. The Hornet would make more sense. Watch the video. You're out of your mind if you want to build a Schmetterling. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe. This thing does This thing doesn't even fit in the into the ravine. Uh, yeah, that's what I I, I did think and, about. And then and then <laughs> it, it shouts target loud out into the world. Just come and attack me, please. I s This is a ship. Uh, um 
it's like that, three times the that size. That you use that you use in a fleet. Yes. As support. So it's, it's logistic, what we call in Eve logistics, uh, where you provide. It's like weapons. a raid barge. Yeah. And uh, and so because it's moved slow, it is in the background of a raiding party or of war of, of a battle uh, formation, and is it therefore protected? And your your job on this ship would be um, provide weapons and ammo for everybody. Weapons, ammo, and uh, and um, and uh, armor to replay replenish them when when people die and then we respawn. Yeah. So as it's a personal ship. Time. I still want to drive it though. The, he can't blame me for wanting to drive a, one of those big ships. Oh, me too. I want to definitely. Uh, f uh, yeah, I, I get exactly what you're saying. I think the Hornet's going to be much the more. Hornet makes more, more sense. And, yes. Uh, I watched it. And I kind of liked it too. I think it's one of the best ships. Mm -hmm. The Falco's design is too weird to, to for it to be a personal ship. It's definitely like a high tier fighting. It's an attack yeah. ship, man. It's the fastest. Fico? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, quick question. Yeah. I encountered like one of those frag chests that you need to ballista and all that. Yeah. But it's not letting my dinghy drag it. Even though oh, it's probably a fire one. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Approach the box and look what it says. Okay. If it gives you a fire symbol, <gasps> then you have to use a fire bolt. It so it gives you a harpoon symbol and a harpoon and drag it. If it says loot or damaged enough, then you need a, an axe and just hack it. Okay. It was a fire one. Yeah. They give the most frags, so. Yeah, you can get like uh, you can get between 30 and 40 out of those. Here comes uh, the eclipse, though. Uh, we said uh, three ballistas on it, figure. This is the first time I had to do it. I like how the Eclipse uh, goes on all servers at the same time. I mean, we are all sort of like in the fun's path. Yeah. It's like the whole premise. How long does this last? Like 30 minutes. Tops, not even. Like it just feels long. Oh, I see a fabricator. How can I you see know. a fabricator? It's I fun. don't know if it's a fabricator. Hold on. Yeah, I guess I, I'm about to go into clips. No, it's not. It's it's a weird base thing. Okay. It's a, it's a tiny bit disappointing. Hey, oh, the door is not too big. Oh, it does go in waves, so I'm going into Eclipse now, but... Yeah, it depends on where you are. Latitude-wise. Or longitude or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna take a break, get up to stretch. My neck's kinda bothering me, so I'm gonna... Go back to lobby. I will probably keep farming. Uh... What he's saying is he's going to the bathroom to flap one out. <laughs> <laughs> you think what you will. My neck hurts. <laughs> I'll be back. Why what makes you think he needs to go to the bathroom for doing that? We can't see him. Maybe he does it all the time. I think he lives with family, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, he does, but he closes the store sometimes, he says. So nobody had disturbed him. 300 fragments. What? For me? 300 shirt. Oh, what the hell am I gonna use it on? Your skill? <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. I gave like almost 400 to uh, Smitty last night. It's time for a soda. 
Let me hear it pop. Are you drinking from a bottle tonight, huh? Drinking. Beer. Oh. <laughs> Said that like, what else would I be drinking? Yeah, I'm German. What do you think I'm drinking? <laughs> you're a drink, Kvass. Beer. Germany, Germans and uh, Czech. Um, how do you call them these days? Uh, this is a Slovaks. Slovakians? Or... Slovakians or the yeah, Armen Czechs, they, yes. they, uh, every year, oh. they take turns on the spot for the most beer consumption per capita in the world. <laughs> so, it's our culture. So yeah, the, the the pearls literally are just clams sitting in the middle of the map. You don't really do anything except walk up to them and... Okay, there's got to be a tool for harvesting them because I just. This... Holy liquors. This clan is to me either two ships, purple sails. I get to know the groups that you are. I've rarely seen so many ships lob, uh, to be honest. So many different clan ships. I wonder what tool you use to fuck. I have no idea. You have to ask Nassad via Discord. He farms them. Verizon, that's them fucking Ragnarok dudes, guys. Yeah. called NERS. NERS, yeah, but that is mistakenly easily to be mistaken as uh, Roder's surname, which is NERS. Uh, yeah, Blue Tiger works for me. Cool enough. Alright. You 
gonna watch more 4400 yeah yeah but it's also made in Seattle How does the trading center work? It's just whoever owns the tile gets like taxes from that? Yeah. Or okay. so it's I can't just open like up. the colony system. Okay. Oh right. So I couldn't have my own little you know, shop where I sell my stuff. I mean, you can and sell your shit there. You just got a lock for you minute, lose guys. ten percent. Be right back. Okay. If whoever owns the tile gets the 10% tax, nobody owns it, then out. Tax. used for oh, to yeah. make cl clay so I'll be right back.
So Swifty, do you know how to get Swifty? I'll take that as a no. Who's out here? Was that a... You're a bubble. Can... I wish I had a bubble. I think they're you know, big for personal ship. I learned you can buy a tiger, two thousand dollars. Watch Tiger King. Yeah. What is a two tiger? Grand. Oh, it's like in real life. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Two grand for a freaking tiger. But I mean, you got to think about how much it costs. That's gonna cost you. my kid to bed, sorry. A torque backpack. I own a torque backpack now. Really? How much can that hold? Oh. <laughs> It increases the point of Yeah, that's hardly measurable. There's How one more for sale right now at the trading state. How expensive? Five hundred. Buy it for me, please. Fucking person here with a there's a fucking clan here with a schmetterling or some shit. It looks where? like a big ass spider. It's right above where we just were. Red flags. It's a big motherfucker. It looks like a big spider. It might not be a schmetterling. I don't know. Ships here. Snooping around. Yeah, I think people are moving in anticipation of the update.
Do we have any allied clans? Yeah, um, messiahs of the blah blah blah. Yeah, they're like exalted messiahs or something. Yeah. Anybody want a torque module? About the money, I gotta get you to something else. Four, five, five, from there. I accept cheese it. Cheese it. Oh. Dry eight beef sausage. That is yummy. I'll take a solid beer. Beer in a fucking joint sounds outstanding right now. Door, come get your fragments. Mm, <laughs> what, um, what's your beer, man? Um, right now, trying in a local. Wisconsin's called Hams. Hams? There, I worked when I worked at this. Um, I worked at a golf course for a while, and they had one on tap that was called Raggedy Ass. It was a local one, <laughs> bro. It was so fucking good. Yeah. And then I found them in store, but it wasn't fresh like what I had gotten. And so it just it wasn't as fucking good. And I will admit it was uh, it was an IPA, but it was a it was different. It was almost like a girly beer. I will admit it was almost like pomegranate or uh, grapefruity, like yeah. uh, very mild taste of that. But it was I fucking loved it. I like fruity drinks, but um, but yeah, when I bought it in store, it was a lot darker. Yeah, did not taste as good. No drag boxes around. Yeah, think. but uh, you might want to wait for them to respawn. Have you guys noticed that the uh, I don't know if you use eyeglasses or, or range finders to spot valuable shit? Um, yeah, I just. Yeah, but have you noticed that like the bushes haven't been showing up now with these last updates they've done? And you can't see quality bushes anymore. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I was just not finding it. <clears throat> yeah, I actually jumped down and tested it, like I found some, and then I jumped back in my rangefinder to look, because like, I was like, it's literally, are there none? 
And then uh, I found that out, I was like, well, that's a fucking shit thing to happen. That's a glitch, I would say. But they don't have a hitbox, and there's a, a thing where if there's no hitbox, it won't register. Probably. Well, hack boxes, it has to be then. So far, I've gotten 76 bone fragments. I got 54. Are you more using points. a heavy raw bone axe? Yep. Yeah, those things collect really good. Three, two to three. And I've been getting a lot of threes, so I've been getting like almost 15 out of each one. 11 to 15. So, middle of the hard zones where the abundance of them is, I've heard, and I just haven't been brave enough to go into the hard zone. Usually the middle is safe if there's no crab. Over here, yeah, I was where I was at at the Zerg plans though, dude, like, we would try to go on a frag run, and we were getting hit like every which way all the fucking time. It was, it was bullshit. Like, you could not run a frag run without, like, losing everything. And we took in 3,500 shards at one point, and we had to bail and uh, go back to do the other ones. And they got attacked a second time and almost lost all of them. I haven't even ever done a, uh, a tablet run of them, just because, like, it fucking terrifies me. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I uh, I got one tablet I went with um, the Zerg clan once and I got one tablet that I used to get, the, to get the same blade and like I think I went back once to get cotton and that's the most I've done in a hard time. Yeah. Well, I have to go there regularly for the clay. Yeah. So I'm pretty used to know what I gotta do to... You don't, I don't go in big ships over there. I would send... I go in a spider. And be sneaky and then, then I can go by my business and nobody's bothering me. Round two, looking for, uh, looking for some tablets. I think I need like 120 bone fragments. I'm at 99 right now. So. I have 54 for you. How much do you need? Um, I needed like 120. Uh, so, I have 54, yeah, no. you got 90, uh, so we're good. Yeah. I'm gonna All keep right. collecting though, just to get some extra, because they're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I, I need to build a windmill. I'm gonna build like probably three windmills on the top of my house. You guys are insane. Yeah, I've got three on mine. Yeah. You, I've got three on mine as well. <laughs> Bastion's not happy about it. <laughs> no? Because they're highly visible. So first and second, one is really enough. It generates a thousand torque in two hey, hours. Hey, if it wasn't for my three, I wouldn't have any extra torque to bring to. Well, the a thousand torque is only good for four tablets. Well, up to six if you do one of the big ones. But, um... Tabl tablets? I've never seen a big one, though. I can't. Oh, if you go into a hard zone and you press <laughs> M, there's those pyramid-looking things that say point of interest. Yeah. It's a thousand torque, 400 uh, of the things, the uh, the fragments. You're guaranteed four and have a chance to get six tablets out of 400 fragments. At a point Plus, of interest, it's a guaranteed with 400? Yeah, yep, 400, you're guaranteed what? four. I was at you one can of them. Get you can get up to six, you use a thousand, and then, um, yeah, How it's fucking torque? awesome. And then torque? you, a thousand torque for 400. All right, and I'm then, gonna actually go just farm that then. Uh, uh, that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit at the point of interest because I know it just respawns like- It's a, a big one. You gotta make sure like, it's basically got these massive fucking walls around it. Oh. And it's in the center. And you gotta like go into it. It's like this massive temple looking thing. You I'm go gonna into run into it. it. I'm gonna park my dinghy off somewhere and run in. Yeah, people like to hide on the walls and watch, just to let you know. Gotcha. And so watch on the walls up top. Um, and then uh, 
Yeah, it's just it's the best way to do it. Plus, you get the um the shattered fragments like constantly, and uh, gotcha. you, and you can use those to remake your regular fragments. So gotcha. I, I it just works didn't really well. know that you could like, break them. Yeah, it's now. fucking awesome, bro. All right, I'm gonna just farm fragments then and uh, get 400 because I have a thousand torque. Yeah, just jump Wait, out with some fucking harpoons and I harvest all those. Have a thousand torque. We used to, run. we would, we would go on runs and we would get like a thousand shards and then we would take them, well, other people would take them to the hard zone. I would help them and then I would just take the fragments because I was so far behind everyone. I still was getting shit with fragments. Thanks to yeah. Rotor, he's a fucking boss and he helped me out. And so I pretty much got the rest of the stuff that I needed with uh, fragments. Well, I haven't spent them yet, but I'm going to. And so I'm going to come gonna... back really quick and uh, farm a few more fragments, reload my ballista ammo. If any of you kind souls would help me with that, because I don't want to get off this stiletto. Just go back with the door. You know what? I'm just gonna get some water and then. I got back. water. I've got like. Go over there on my ship. I'll be there in a second. If my vaping bothers you guys, let me know and I'll fucking eat myself. Nah, Some people I've, have a problem with it. I've been on too many calls to uh, with people that they to be bothered by it. That nice to uh, do the, the the THC pen, so it's you know. I wish I could to... still use my fucking pen. I had to give it away. I'm on probation. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I, Michigan it just got legalized, so I'm gonna see if the union. Uh, I'm 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 stopped right now because I don't know if the union cares or not if I smoke. But yeah, once I figure that out, then I'll, I'll be smooth sailing again. People are always like, "You should get your medical card." I'm like, "Fuck that!" Then I can't own guns. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Fuck. I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking do that. Right. I can't even technically be around them right now. What they don't know, don't hurt them. <laughs> so I did forget to call my probation officer for this month, and fucking, she was a little upset. She was like, "Call me on this day, otherwise there could be a warrant issue for your arrest." I'm like, "Okay, sounds good." And I've been checking my phone every day. I asked my mom and my fucking sister to fucking remind me too. I feel that. Oh my god, my stamina. Uh, sh hmm. I forgot to bring my dinghy. I thought I could embark on dinghy and then travel. Okay, back into the sands we go. Alright, Mr. Bladore. What does it cost to make a, uh, a windmill? Like eight eight nomad, nomad cloth. cloth. Oh shit! Four rope. It's not too bad. Man, that nomad cloth. I wish I could fucking make it faster. And when you, every time you fucking tear up and you make higher quality shit, it takes so long, dude. I was making level like fucking I don't even know, twenty four nomad cloth. And it took like fucking four or five minutes. I could not Did fucking. Did it take it. actually four or five minutes? It it told me it just took a minute. Me. When I, I uh when when I I made like fucking fifty some branches by the time I know my problems. And I was making yeah. level uh twenty four branches. Level twenty four branches are basically my my lowest tier uh average right now. If I just use like zero quality materials and like a decent wood. Fiber for me is the hardest. Bro, thing it's to been get. so shit getting it in this fucking tile. It really is. It's it's the thing that really is holding me back. Uh, I, I'm just farming so many cattails. It's unbelievable. What the I want to do the southeast is get... uh, oasis island thing has some really good lakes in it for farming cattail. If you really I, need a bunch of it, I want to get like a level fucking eighty um, regular fiber working station, yeah. and then just make really good fiber. If you have a level 80 station, can't you just use root poop pelts for the fiber? Yep. 
And by the way, you probably already know this, but not everyone does. The regular fiber working station and the advanced one both do different things. The regular fiber working station can actually make fiber out of roof hoop pelts, where the advanced one cannot. So you yeah. actually need them both. Yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on that one a little bit. I, I, I did have an advanced regular fiber working station, but I, I did get rid of it. Um, just because cattails are so abundant, but I, yeah, I totally forgot about the Rupu pelts. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can make it. like level 20, but I appreciate uh, you reminding me about I that. I have yeah. like 500 Rupu pelts if you will turn them into fiber. <laughs> I will. I will, but. Let, have Swifty do it because he's, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he, he's showing me up right now in the resource department. Plus, I, I, I'll i take over tile. Uh, production if if it's going to be about a grind i will do that i i think my my advanced fiber working station or no my regular one is like fucking 43 i think so okay. yeah i can probably get like level 20 all right come up here uh, on my bible door i'm i'm coming down literally right now just give me a second I'm in. man it feels good that we've got everybody all working together now feels uh, like a, clans know. clans coming together a team style. Bastion means felt for a week when it was just the two of us doing shit. It, it yep. feels, it's just the two of you. <laughs> Do you guys play anything else? Play Red I play Dead Eve. Online 2 uh, RP. Yeah, it, when somebody says they played Eve, it means that they only played Eve. <laughs> time, yeah. time sucking game. It is. Uh, right. It's a dangerous. It's a dangerous pitfall of time. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Star Citizen to drop. You know, I play Star Citizen too. Years. But I've been playing a lot of Overwatch lately. That's why I was asking. I'm gonna see if anyone else played it. The big I old played w. the last game I played before. This was Far Cry 5. It's a good game. It's Thank you, fantastic, but it's. What's your yeah. favorite thing to do in Far Cry? Actually, I found the driving was quite fun, to be honest. Bro, I'm you. gonna tell you, the fucking fishing in that game, dude, is so good. It's so good, bro. I was just like, I was when I had when I was playing on Xbox, yeah, I was just I'm like, I would you. just go fucking fish. Are you like, kind this of is better? Are, are you in North Michigan? No, no, I'm Southwest. I'm like South, okay, Southwest 20, 30 is pretty. Minutes. Southwest is pretty southern. If you get the the, the farther you wait. The farther oh, away you get away yeah. from Detroit, the more southern Michigan gets. <laughs> yeah. When you hit, like, my son is from Holland, his mom's from Holland, and they're fucking snobs up there, dude. I fucking... Yeah, I don't, Holland, I don't like saying it's, I it's hate a It's a tourist It's a tourist spot, though. That's, that's Yeah, Tulip Festival. Don't pick a tulip and you'll be fined $200. I just want to fucking mow them down. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, so the fishing in Far Cry well, was really a nightmare, it's true. Nightmare. Nightmare. I fucking <laughs> love it. Dude. Like Peta, Peta actually posted something against it, um, because they were pissed off. They were saying animal cruelty in games is the same as in real life, and the, and the reason they were saying that was because um, Fallout uh, Five started selling a shit ton of copies just because people were um, fishing. They were just buying it to fish because they were like people who would like do the Cabela's fishing games and stuff. They were like, it's better. Than any fucking fishing game like I've ever played. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't get it. That's a oh yeah, Bastion, I got something for you. You know what I've been wanting to do is to get um one of the a VR fishing game because I have a VR headset and I've just really been wanting to do like some of the VR fishing stuff. Thank you. I mean, I think that uh, VR makes me sick. I've tried. Uh, oh, it does. Times to to, it's cool as hell. But I just the something about the feeling of your legs dropping out from under you at the slightest little jump. I, I but I'm I'm good with heights. It just feels so strange. See, I'm not good with heights. I fucking hate it. Um, and I get I would get motion sick. You, I'd get a fucking headache. Um, and I was asking everyone out because I was like, I just spent like you know fucking seven hundred dollars on all this shit, so I could fucking do this. It's like, down. is there any way to combat the motion sickness? And people were just like, um, you just have to get used to it. You have to keep using it. And I'm like, I just feel like that's not true. And it took, like, 
probably, all, I hate to say it, but probably like two fucking months of playing it. Like, I was playing it a lot too, before the motion sickness started to go away. So, and what's bad is basically the games that are bad are the ones where you move around with the controller or something, but you're stationary. Uh, so, if you're walking around, I never. That was rude, Rotor. Very rude. <laughs> How Rotor, dare you! What have you done, Rotor? I, I can't carry this many freaking fruit poop pelts, so I had to come over here. Oh, all right, just yeah. dump I'll it, right dump it in his second. chest. <laughs> if you put it on the chest on the outside, then uh, I'll uh, I'll pick it up and, and and make them for you. I'll make you a bunch of fiber. I uh, that would. I, right now. Oh, you pushed me out of my parking spot like I was oh. some garbage <laughs> or something. <laughs> uh. By the way, thanks for the clan invite, guys. Like, I really appreciate it. Basically, everyone fucking bailed on me. All my close friends, like, I don't know if I, I said it or not yet, but basically, they were all military. Um, a lot of them were military, and they joined this military clan and, like, just left me high and dry. Like, they don't even fucking talk to me anymore. No. And they were the people that I was making shit for. That yeah. I made, like, you know, 200 fucking harpoons for, and they went out and collected 3,500 frags, and I never fucking saw one. And so, they all said they were coming over here, so I came over here, and they're like, oh, we stopped midway and joined this clan for military people, because, like, out of the eight of us, five or six were military. And then, I just never heard back from them, so I'm like, okay. Fucking doing my own damn thing, then. So, how many shards did you say you have? Um, uh, Rotor gave me like 500 because he's a fucking badass bitch. Oh, Jesus I'm gonna go try to find this monument. I keep my 50 then. Her boss has bitch, yeah. Oh, oh, the no, I have enough of those. You keep yours. So, no, Rotor didn't give me the bone fragments, he gave me the the or the whatever it was. I forget the actual fragments that you use for your skills. Oh, these. So, you still need bone shards. I don't think so. Um, I don't have them on me, but I think I collected like 150, so I should be good. All right, let me know if you need more. Hey guys, did I despawn my stiletto? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, I, I did. I did. It's just I, I'm gonna have to. Rotor, I have uh, chests out here. I'm just playing with the the fire 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 at the hard Oh, tile. okay, that works. Actually, you should be able to use it. Where am I? To save on water in the dinghy. Yeah, I can do fucking level 23, bro. I'm just gonna start making level 23 shit for you. Dope. I had a bunch. <laughs> level 23 is nice. Alright, let's go check out this fucking... It's just a tipped over... Toboggan with a base next to it. You'll Say, can you make one of those out. nice, high quality things? I absolutely can, bro. I'll make you something. I'll, I'll get you an axe and uh, some other stuff. I need the, uh, you know, all the fiber working station. I thought you took materials for it the uh, other day. I made an advanced one. Uh, okay. Ah, that's the belt slot. Yeah, I've been making like levels. Cloth. <laughs> Fuck, I need so much wood. Yeah. So it's either belt or backpack. Yeah. For, for the, the twerk? Yeah. For the twerk? Twerk? Yeah. yeah. Do it for the I, twerk. I was hoping it gives me another slot on my. Ah, uh, it's a balance thing. Yeah. What if I pack. <laughs> Torque backpack into the backpack with torque in it. Nah, I know it. It's like water. Dang. I know. I fucking hate that. Yeah, many games have had problems with containers within containers. Something that's weirdly enough totally hard to program or something. 
the only game I love as much as this game, and I keep being torn. I keep feeling torn back to it. <coughs> it's an old game that's been out since like 19 fucking 87 or 91 or some shit. I played it when I was 15. It's called Ultima Online. Oh yeah, and, my oh, son dude, plays it. I uh, I just got started playing it again, getting back into it. Fuck Lord so Britain. much fun. <laughs> Fuck Lord Britain. Um. Yeah, they had a they had a high quality version of it, and then they cranked out these original for free, and that's what my son is playing. They have a yep. bunch of fun with with his friends because the game idea is still brilliant. And um, I know. And uh, so he's he's uh, they play it. I know you uh, can't just no life it. Like you have your set skill points, and that's what you use and. You know, you're not going to be better than everyone else. It takes fucking skill to use it, and I fucking love it. Yeah, I've never played it, though, so... You're missing out. <laughs> Ultima <laughs> Online? Yeah, bro. Alright, if I have, if I have, if I abandon all other projects in life, I will take on another video game with time-consuming tendencies. It's a good game, so basically how it works is there's a bunch of different skills. There's probably like 60 or 70 Ooh. different skills. And you get a total of 720 skill points that you can use. Mm -hmm. And so using that skill increases that skill up to 100. And then if you want to get it above, you have to get some special scrolls that'll let you go to 105, 10, 15, or 20. And so uh, you don't have to do them in order. If you get 120 scroll for a specific skill, you can use it. And But basically, once that hits its cap, that's it. You can't get higher than that. And so if you don't have that at max, then you're not going to do as good as other people. So you're either a jack of all trades or you're a specialist. Right. Well, you want to be a specialist because like, let's say that you only have like 30 in magic. You're not going to be able to cast strong enough spells and you're not going to be able like they're going to fizzle and they're going to be wasted. And so uh, you're not going to be able to fucking cast a lot of spells. Plus, you only have a certain amount of allocation. You have 225 points you can allocate to strength, stamina, which is like how much like uh, stamina you have, and then um, your magic. And so it's very fucking time. balanced. Don't believe that there's a demon on this turn. Yeah. My dad's blowing up my phone. He's probably upset that I didn't join any other shit. I was spending time with my kids. Like, I never feel bad about it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I went through some pretty heavily fuck, he like, heavy, heavy counseling for a lot of shit with my fucking dad. And basically, I just realized I love him, but he's an asshole. And mm. so. That's how it is a lot of the times. It is what it is. Can't change a thing. It is what it is. Do true. Oh, yes, yeah. I, I don't think there's any monuments on this hard tile, which is uber unfortunate. But I can farm bone splinters just by uh, at these points of interest because they drop a whole bunch. So let me see how many bone splinters I can get, in, uh, as well as uh, fragments. Ooh, it drops hide as well. All right, looks like I'm just farming hide and bone splinters at this place. It's not letting me put one of those things up here. It's a fast snap. Uh, mm, you have to make sure it's kind of hanging you. over the edge a while. I, I am, but it's still saying there's an item blocking it. Mm. It's finicky. That's for sure. Never mind for now, I'll be okay. Never all right. fused into it, that's fun. How'd that go for your skill tree there, Vlador? Oh, 
was great. And I got a lot of stuff unlocked, but it opened up a lot of stuff that I need materials for that I have no idea what they are yet. Well, tell us. Pray tell. Uh, no, look. Because, like, um. Earthwax? Stomper. Earthwax is easy. Uh, was get that the mushrooms. Yeah, or mushrooms palm, palm leaves. leaves. Bird. Palm leaves. Um, where's the place to farm bone splinters at? Uh, you look for those uh, right bones all over the, the map. Usually has a decent amount. What do you What do you hit for those? Uh, the axe. Hit it with an okay. axe. And what is uh, the resource like? Skeleton or what? Plus, I have no idea. What it is. What the farm? That one. Uh, right out of the ravines. Yeah, oh. right out of most ravines. Okay. That's Nomad claw you get from Out of the advanced fiber weave. And bone glue. Water and bone in the campfire. Water and what? Bone splint. Okay. Cook it in oh. campfire. I think that's good. Yeah. Matt. Material. Is there a better way to get uh, new poo vines other than picking them up and farming those? Uh, a good spot. If you Collect use all a, these villages. Use a scythe, you get use like 31. Yeah, you got Oh! Okay. I was not doing that thing. No problem. I feel like I <laughs> just wasted a lot. Yeah, hey, dude, trust me, we all felt the same way when we figured it out. So I, I immediately brought it back out, so I will, uh, I actually, um, need to go back right before, uh, I actually went back and grabbed some more torque for it, because it ran out, because ah. I did actually waste some while, uh, uh, I didn't know I didn't have to play crafting thing, so, um, I'm gonna go pick up whatever is is, is okay. in there right now. I'm gonna put some more torque in. And so there's nothing here, and in, in the ravine. What? You, you brought nothing to the ravine yet? Not yet. No. no. I will. Uh, I will actually stop farming fragments for a moment. Go just bring the clay back. Uh, that's fine. I I just tool around with these 80 now. Um. But that's fine, so I'll have you come back. Gotcha. Into the King G. Is there a way to queue up? Um, like, I want to make some wood shaft, but yes. every time I leave, the put the materials in the machine and the input. Okay, I do that and then I queue up with shift. You're probably using uh, different quality materials, uh, and after it lose it, it trying to craft a certain quality, and um, once it runs out of a certain type of 
higher quality material. It stops. Craft, yeah, it can't craft the highest quality that you wanted, so it, it you need to Merge. either A, combine them if you don't want to micromanage it, or sit there whenever it stops. Uh, you... I don't think that's it, because it's like I'll put in a stack of 100 wood, and then I'll, you know, queue up like, uh, you know, 30 wood shafts, and then it'll just do one rotation, and then it'll stop unless I sit. Are you adding the fiber too? Oh, no. No, okay. Well, do it. That's why I had to sit in it, because the fiber... Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why you need fiber to make wood shafts either. Huh. Oh, the feeling of being a noob in a game again. We've all, we were all there. I was probably the most uh, recent one before you with the noob feelings. Wow, well, but look at you, how, how quickly you kept up. True. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be no time till you're uh, a pro. Uh, this learn curve in this game is pretty shallow, so it's not that complicated. It, it's it's, but it, it has a higher skill cap than you would think. Yeah, that's true. Um, doing things, it's it's not about learning how to do it. It's about doing it efficiently. Yeah. Well, that get, that goes for the crafting system. Yeah. Uh, and 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 I think the combat and the and the and the gathering as well. Yeah. Uh. Oh. It's crazy how fast uh, at these points of interest the the stuff respawns. The, the, the different care package things or whatever. Yeah, you can just hang it. You, I, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just hanging out, farming bone splinters off the dead bodies and uh, uh, getting fragments. That's probably what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. Uh, just so when I wake up in the morning, I can get as many tiles as we need because uh, Yeah, we need we need the fuel Yeah And I have so much sulfur saved up so uh, uh, it, it works out You said the bone splinters were in front of ravine I get that trim Usually, Usually they're, they're, they're smaller though, so you have to look a little bit more carefully. Uh, and then around the edges of like going into the, the, the cliff areas, with the, or the mountainous areas, uh, there's usually some bigger bone spikes on the inside of those areas and on the outside, like surrounding them. So if you if you have a hard time spotting the small, small ones, just go into the uh, mountainous regions. Okay. A lot of fucking pelts, man. Yeah, I didn't have that ready. Do we need pelts? Yeah, to make the the fiber a lot easier. Uh, I can give you a hundred if you want to. You I see, mean, I'm, I, I'm, I I'm like converting feel, freaking six hundred right now. I feel so. <laughs> uh, click, wait, wait a second, please. Order what? One hundred is not not good. I'm making like. Three or four hundred freaking level twenty three five right now. I am a fool. I've wasted so much time converting. So that uh, so uh, translate. <laughs> uh, how does how does that translate? Yes, I want a hundred health, or I don't need them. Um, no, I don't need them. But you should put them in your fiber working station. I have no simple fiber working station yet. I'll use one of yours. There's one right here. Yeah, I don't have a need right now. It's fine. Uh, Give me a high quality we one. We should stockpile the. Uh, the uh, we should start trying to stockpile all the high level resources we can, though. Just a little bit. 
think as a buffer. So we have like a uh, clan or whatever? Like, uh, is that Bastion's base? No, Bastion doesn't have the storage capacity for it. Now here, uh, Mr. Schmetterling will have a storage <laughs> Yeah, baby, Mr. Schmidling. I like that name. Um. Yeah, but if my 100 pill. Well, well, fuck it. Okay, I do my com um, contribution in here. For the greater good. Thank you for not your just, contribution. Not just the clay and the shards <laughs> and the ceramics. Oh, guys, yeah, by the way, if you need ceramics, I uh, have some. <laughs> three. So. I'm gonna uh, go get the clay. Uh, you need three, right Rotor? Yeah, because I used the rest of my. I used some of my last night for the rest of his axe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I um, I have a few in my stiletto. I know only uh, Bastion. And uh, Rotor can pull my stiletto if need. Actually, no, the stilettos have the hard tile with me because I used it to get over here. Or did I walk? So as long as I do the clay runs, uh, I'll, I'll um, keep the tap on the, the chart. So if you want some, come to me. The other option is for you guys, or, or if I'm empty out of it, you can get your own ash and your own torque uh, where does he has his hey rotor stop it uh, get some ash move to the base on the hard tile and there when you're near the base you can see where the where's your grapple thing the left the left There it used to be on the back, and now I'm airborne. Keep getting stuck in it. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> man, I got logged out just as I was walking up to my freaking computer. Okay, three, three uh, ceramics on your hold. So yeah, so if you want, if you want big quantities or something, and uh, we don't have them or whatever, pick some ash, like. I'm gonna be staying on the hard towel for the rest of the night, so... Uh, pick some ash, some fork, and head over there, hard tile, there's the base, and cl close to the base is the excavator. Push the tor- put the tor to the excavator, put the ash in the yeah, excavator. They can't, they can't make it. Oh, but you have to unlock clay. So, uh... We need the, a tile. It's only the, you and me, Bastion, that can make clay right now. With a tablet, yeah. I'm just saying what 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 they what they what their second option is. Gotcha. Uh, uh, apart from me distributing it, um, because but we get more and more people and people, and they're like, for instance, for a large chest that needs, uh, the, I think, 15 of those. So we're getting, we're get, we're, we will be getting quickly to our capacities of everyone like, you know, mm -hmm. needs. That many so yeah, I'm just right. saying I, I'm trying to do a run every now and then uh, but if you want your own supply then pick clay ash one tablet will unlock the clay and you can make it yourself out there uh, I'm thinking about rather than putting the windmills on my house, building some foundations out the back and putting them back there. Already called to this house. Oh Jesus! Did you have already some furniture built in or something? <laughs> a bed. Gonna get a doghouse out front. He's built. How, how big are the windmills? <laughs> Look at this. He built himself a Gregorian, no, no, a Georgian colonial uh, style <laughs> ma mansion. Uh, with, with arched windows and shit, I can't believe it. Arched window. <coughs> what a beast! I bet you have double doors. Jeez, there's so many people on this hard tile right now. I know. Uh, I feel like everything around here has been fucking mm. thrown. 
and I don't like it. There's like, there's like 80 plus people on the hard tile, and I'm stuttering. So we made a two story, but where's the second story? Floor. It's the vaulted ceiling, so it gives it a, a, a higher selling price. Yeah, it's, a, it's higher heating costs. So <laughs> you need more, you need more stoves in here. Uh, are these your cattails in here? I thought I put a hundred in here, but I can't remember. Oh, I shoved some in there too. He has deep beds in here. Well, I can't remember if any of these were mine, so I'm just going to say you fucking keep them. I got to know. I got more bag. if you want some. <laughs> It's cozy in here. Gosh. MTV Cribs, where you at? Alright. Oh, do you, do you expect guests? Because you have three beds. Yeah, I was just to hold all my water. And I just yeah. stuck them in here. How much water goes in one? Uh, 750 is what you can keep in it. I had all three of these filled. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, if you guys need some, just fucking nah, nah, take some. Fine, I'm, I'm good. I sleep on the planks on my deck. Um... I wonder what happens if you push respawn, put respawn. Uh, you click respawn and it's the base is in your ship. And you click respawn and base doesn't probably work. Be funny. Probably. Would be funny. Alright. Uh, click, 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 click. Five Earth Rags. So I don't call my thing here a, a house, but a prepper shed. A prepper like a shed? Doomsday yep. prepper? A doomsday prepper shed. I like it. Ah, you move so slowly when you're lagging in the walkers. It's like you're floating and not really getting friction. That, what is it why I have so much lag? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know that this would fit right here on one of these on the back. Takes up. Uh, I think it's up two squares. Yeah, it's not gonna fit on the back. Uh, like if I put put if I put if I put foundations here, then it won't work. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to drop it on my house. This game kind of reminds me of those. Uh... Me mobile games like where there's there's a like you get your city and there's a bunch of cities around you of other different players and you can like own up different sections of the map and whatnot it kind of reminds me of that just the, the setup the tiles yeah the map. yeah it's, it's a little bit like this but yeah, i think also... that's cool because those games were the, so many people play them because it's a fun concept, but it's pay yeah. to win. This ex at least doesn't seem pay to win. No, it's not pay to win. It's just have no life. To <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be uh, items or extensions to the game that you gotta buy. It must have some business. It's 30 dollars supporting a long time uh, game yeah. like this. Maybe cosmetics. So uh, I think it would rather be some like more, a blue dinghy hey, or something like that. I put some more like uh, cattails in there and I, I uh, queued up some more rope. Either that or they uh, would sell like, like space engineers. They sell. Is that uh, okay? Use it to your heart's content, Rotor. Whatever you want to use in here, bro. I, j I just don't have any like they good quality stations game, myself. That's not new, new content, but uh, that's... Uh, it's hard to hear you in the game. Certain abilities uh, and... I just don't have any good quality stations myself. Yeah, or some other stuff. 
So you stick oh, okay. and have a okay. game yeah, I'll, and uh, get, get everything I'll try to make you some. If you bring me materials, I can make you but some. But you need to have I can make you a good axe stone, some other stuff. That, that is can start farming. fine by me because that means poor people can have, just have to play longer. <laughs> get to, still the same stuff. Um, but people with little time and good jobs that earn a lot can buy the extensions and, you know, uh, build stuff oh. easier and a little easier than others. So, I'm hoping that this will be the case for this game. Mm. I don't think so. What do you think then? Well, um, this game is very similar to Atlas. Yeah. And, uh, I, I actually looked it up and the company that made this game is owned by Snail, which are the people that made Atlas, so they yeah. essentially just copied a lot of the code. Yeah. And, yeah, these walkers are just the boats from Atlas. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they're probably going to do the same thing in Atlas. Um, they started some cosmetics, but I don't know if they like made it money off of it. Yeah. But... Well. Cosmetics wouldn't be bad as either because yeah, some people don't give a fuck about cosmetics. Some people do. Yeah. That brings money. That's fine by me. I'm addicted but, to cosmetics, but yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> in certain too, games, really? like in Eve, it was really an addiction to have good skins for the ships. Oh Jesus! And then you fly through space and nobody can see your ship anyway <laughs> uh, because you, because you. Because you're too small, so so what you do is you hang out in front and and then fly back and forth like a parade horse, yeah. so you can see you and so much of what bullshit. <laughs> yeah, so but it's fun. So uh, if I got a dollar or two, what was it lately where I paid in? Oh yeah, in space engineers, they are cheap. So you pay like four dollars for for an extension pack. That's and how that's... they get you, man. That's very fair price. They're like, four dollars? I can buy that ten times, you know? <laughs> no, it's a, it's just a certain item set. And, uh, yeah. and you get this, and then you have the item. And, like, let's say you build space, sta you build space yeah. stations and ships in this game. And, and then essentially it's a space simulation. Um, and you can have, you can get buy sets of nicer doors or it's pretty and they are have additional functionality so they, they don't need as much space as the other door and less materials and stuff like this. This kind of stuff. And uh, and are four dollars for the whole set that usually had a couple several dozen items in it. I thought I thought it was it was a fair price. You uh, so you want a raw bone marble door? Yeah, what's up? What? <clears throat> What'd you say? Raw bone mall? I I can Give make that. Give me a weapon. I, I just also got one I found. can make it. It's just an expensive item. Um, so just to let you know, Gleeker, I just did the math, and it's three minutes to make a level thirteen nomad cloth, even though it only says one minute. It's three minutes, Ugh. and uh, the regular one is one minute, so it's not updated when you look at the other one but gotcha. it's definitely a lot fucking longer okay all right well i guess that's also a balance issue well not an issue but i guess that is balanced right? for making all the expensive cloth it means you just have to be prepared you can't just like get to a tile and quick farm all the good quality stuff and get up yeah. there um it would be yeah, uh, I think what we're gonna move towards is the song blade. Uh, oh, the sing blade? I can make yeah, it. Sing, you can make the sing blade? Yeah, if you give me the ceramic shards and everything to make it, I'll fucking make it for you, bro. I, I can need. Make it too. Look Just at that. Woodshed, nomad cloth, stone. A lot of fucking stone. Holy shit, 80 stone. I know, right? I yeah. have 15 shards, which we don't have right now. I'm working on it, don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna run my uh, butt back once I get there, but all this lag on the tile is making my boat run so slow. It's like it's moving through water or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this tile once I, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm making my run right now um, with the dinghy for ceramic ceramic shards. Okay. Uh, I make them. Oh, I want to say so that we have 80. So okay, then uh, some of you, if, if you're ready to, can have some of the shards. For this. Ah, damn it! For the yeah, if we blade. could, if we could equip everybody with the sing blade, that'd be pretty cool. Triple stitch too. Triple stitch doesn't fuck with your speed, but gives you decent defense. Yeah, um, I have a, I have a lot a of people use stuff. brittle bone. Brittle bone is not good. Make me, it gives a lot of protection, but makes you slow, which is suicide in PvP. Uh, the meta in Zerg clans was all brittle bone armor. Yeah, they they make up with numbers and respawn. Uh, the triple stitch has the best value between protection and especially if you use the the boots and the bracelets boots between protection yeah. and and uh, movement speed. It's oh, to find pearls. by the way, um, if you've ever plucked a high quality cactus and noticed that you fucking didn't get a high quality cactus. It's the um, the level of your arms, your arm armor, like your rats. So if you want to harvest like high quality cactus, you're gonna need high quality arm rats. Wow. Okay. That, that's a weird mechanic. I know. That is a very weird mechanic. It's like it's assuming that. Uh... You clutter <laughs> your your arm against the cactus <laughs> yeah <laughs> it makes it more effective <laughs> okay let's start that's so a strange mechanic all right i'm picking up the the clay right now uh if there's any ash left i'm gonna put some more torque in it yeah the, we will with your stuff we'll try to uh make chakra with wood in the furnace first okay because I took all the ash, uh, all the char. I have stuff for you, Blador. Uh, what do you got? Oh, I need to make a stump. Can someone take the time how long it takes to make a full run starting now? Uh, hold on, hold on. Just roughly. Uh, all right. Go, I'm, I got a timer going. Oh, thank you. you. Just say one. Yeah, I'm telling you when I stop. Yep. Here you go. I'm making a little bit more clay than I'm coming back. So my strategy for baking is I drive around the ravine, <coughs> and when someone approaches me, I just go. Oh, off tail into the ravine and okay. there are all you guys and you can then protect our asset sounds good that's the safest way i think to do that i'm rolling around in a, in a dingy with that furnace on top of it and people billowing out smoke <laughs> yes billowing out smoke and it's like very discernible from even distances yeah. And if people know what's going on, then they will come for it for the shards. Yes. Not even the shards for the clay, so they can make the shards themselves. Well, the clay is in the furnace as well, so if they want to yeah. have what in it, then, then it, no matter what it is, then they have to destroy the furnace, which has a protection of 3,500, which is not very much. like a walker leg oh god rope is so slow it is so slow yep you're making high quality rope to 25 or 24 23 so it's gonna take a long time it's, i have a bunch of high tier uh wind farms or torque farms on my roof and it took so long to just make three of them like so like my entire morning was spent kind of making those wind farms I say entire morning, I mean like hour and a half. Between collecting oh. cattails and whatnot. By the way guys, if you wanna if 
you want to have a reliable cheap armor for rupu fighting and stuff just take some rupu pelt and a uh, couple of ropes simple ones not high tier and you can make yourself dozens of rupu fur armor i make cloak have... rupu fur armor you have clo cloak one yeah that's nice that's nice it's one nomad cloth added onto it it's almost oh, okay. as good as triple stitch next to this. and it's yeah. cheaper okay oh. i will try that one out so i made myself a chat set of 15 of them so if i if one wears out i just pick a new one hey i'm gonna make a little base around our uh our extractor are you okay with that uh yeah but if it's medium wood yeah. then yeah okay i'll unlock medium then because i have the shards on because we it's too going. easy and and it you know people will break in Here, if it's just a light one yeah i'll unlock the medium right now jeez heavy wood base um, these you cannot pack on ships, so it's for instance, you could now, if you, uh, can you build a base, a uh, walls and a roof without foundation? You have to build one, two, three, four foundations really around the excavator. Yeah. That's let me see. How, let me see. Let me see how uh, they did it over. In, yeah, they built a bunch of foundations, and this is yeah. This is all uh, medium wood as well. This all is around. The, this, these are the owners next to us, uh, next to the excavator, boats and hose. Yeah. So they're so, they, they're not gonna attack us because we're extracting and they're getting the resources. So I wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's just an extractor. They're everywhere on a hard tile. Right. Everybody it's, does if, it. If we put down six, I don't <laughs> that, but, uh, that might be different. But yeah. uh, they do that with the black soil excavators. Mm. Uh, but I think the mud ones, the clay ones, and yeah. it sits there innocent enough, you know. Uh, at once that... got locked, unlocked, so that somebody wanted to use it, obviously, or something. Mm. But there was nothing in it. Right. And, so we never leave anything in when we leave. True. Other than maybe like ten torque or something. Yeah, uh, nothing it, worthwhile. Not worthwhile, exactly. And then, then for next time they will leave it alone once they learn that we don't leave stuff in there. <laughs> supervised. Yeah. All right, I got two torque windmills going over here. Yeah, I'd say two is more than enough. Yeah, usually. Oh, this takes so long to burn. Welcome to advanced crafting. By the way, um, Gleeker, you have a fireworking station over here. You can come dismantle that for resources. Someone already broke into it. Yeah. Might as well just come I, this I placed that down right when I when I uh, got invited to the clan. So I guess I'm just gonna disassemble it. We need to put a range finder on the furnace thingy. Yeah. So you can see who's who. Yeah. <clears throat> you about to have an eclipse again? Well, that's what I thought. I'm going to be bringing back at least 60. It's probably going to be a lot yeah, more. That's it. I'm. Um... clouds sure are moving fast. The other advantage of our ravine and rolling around it with a furnace is that uh, 
trade station is very close, so I simply need to run for the trade station. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> Which is why I dropped in on you guys last night. I figured I'd do some stuff here, and then if anyone tried to come after me, then I would just fucking bail, go right to the trade center. Mm. Yeah. Shit, did Carol Baskin is fat. <laughs> That bitch, Carol Baskin. That is a... <clears throat> funny joke in my household. My dad is like... Ridiculous with that stuff. <laughs> what, he's like, he's uh... He's not like, being like, joking about it? No, he is joking about it, but it's like uh, the whole, like, it's his almost 100% of all of his joking right now and like singing that song. That's, that's like my dad. Just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> there are other jokes. Hi. <laughs> yeah. It's a very dad thing to do though. It's just yeah. a latch onto one joke and you laughed once. That must have mean I have to tell it at least 50 times a day. I know. <laughs> Do you really think she killed her husband, though? Oh, yeah. It's a total so. Courtney love story, bro. I think that... I don't think she did. I think it's just been so long that she's like, well, eh, it happened. But I think, for the joke, I think she did. Who did what? I don't watch TV. It was uh, like a docu You need to watch Tiger Dikes King, guy. man. Tiger King. <laughs> oh, Jesus, not this guy. Okay, leave me alone with that. That's <laughs> <laughs> one of the. What's up, you cool cats and kittens? <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't have a TV. If you fucking own tigers, like, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? Just, just remember that a little bit of meth and owning tigers makes you gay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> For money. People in this country do everything for money. I That's will never financially there. recover from this. <laughs> I mean, your freaking worker okay. that, like, supports you wholeheartedly <laughs> just got her arm fucking bit off and you're like, Oh god, my money. Oh, scared the crap out of me, brother. See, the other day you laughed at me when I fucking sketched when someone rolled up and you're like, <laughs> you see yeah. what I'm talking about? It's reflex, no matter who it is, I always put the base away. Well, see, in Atlas, you would just like find the wind and fucking skedaddle the fuck away and hope you got to a goddamn zone wall first. <laughs> Well, in Atlas, I mean, it didn't matter because they would see our clan name and they would be the ones running a play, you know? So that was, that was helpful, son. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm gonna, this, uh, stiletto I'm gonna, is, is pretty much equivalent to a schooner. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I thought a dinghy would be, like, no, no, dinghy's really easy to make. So is dinghy it is like a barge or something. I never played Atlas, so I don't know the ship types there. I don't even remember what was below a schooner. <laughs> Here's a good one. How do redwood looks like? Like How? every other tree. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dad joke if I ever heard one. Yeah, someone asked that in the, the fucking chat. Chat here. Pashivo. I, 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 that guy's the newest guy that I. I there's a whole, been a whole bunch of new players talking in chat that I don't know that well. You asked also, how do I store Tord? I can't just put it in a box, right? Nobody an answer. Uh, I will not answer either. What was the question? 
No, because of low profile, I don't use global chat because I don't wanna. It's better to keep a low profile for your. See, I've for basically safety. like. Uh... I I, t I probably talk the most, but only to people like the other kind of big clans ish. And yeah, I, just just not, to be like sort of diplomat ish. Yeah, not not saying don't talk at all. I'm saying I just don't chit chat around in the global chat. Yeah, though, like many people do. Use it with purpose. Yeah. Great power. It's a big mouth. You got a big mouth. Are you coming out of me? You've been watching too much Tiger King. <laughs> How straight are you, boy? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I have uh, over a hundred clay right now. But this I fucking firefly is still burning. There it goes, it fell apart. Back. It's uh, dead. Drop the clay off, Bastion. Or do you want me to uh, just come back when you're done with your run? Oh, he's off. Nah, uh, um, I'm trying to process what you just asked. Uh, put it, but are you here? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still at the excavator. Yeah. Put it in your ship. Yep. I have over a hundred right now. Do you want me to come back and drop off the hundred and come back to the excavator? Nah. Want... Okay. Alright. I'm making stuff myself so people can have charts in a couple of minutes. I already have 54. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Now I need fucking super high quality wooden shit. Fucking good luck finding that. Uh, look at the, look at the resource map that I sent you oh. in, in the last oasis chat it's all there man you can get oh. some tier 80 plus there's oh, literally every one of those black dots is a 36 plus tree and then there's stone as well I would say um, just make sure you wait at least five hours before you're mining each one if you want to get good high quality stuff I don't even hit stuff unless it's it says my level plus I won't fucking hit it. If it's only level like 36 or whatever, I don't fuck with it. Wait, how, what level are you? 44. Wait, so it goes by your level? Your level does so, affect it. What it does is like you look at a tree and it'll say like, it'll only show your level. So it'll, it'll say like, and it's weird how they do it. So like for me, a tree will say like if it's a max level tree, then I can only see up to my level. So it might say like 39 slash 44 plus. And so what that means, that plus means that it's higher than my level, but uh, um, but I can't see how high it is. Okay, so, so when you if chop you that the tree, map, uh, yeah. there is a tier 80 tree. Uh, it's in those three dots. It's like that Chinese gang uh, symbol in, in the top right. One of those trees is a high tier tree. Is a is a tier eighty tree, at least. Okay. So, so how, I think how it's can a max how, tier. how is it that you can see it? You're not. Uh, no, you're not... I got I got tier eighty wood from it, and I'm I was a level thirty nine. So that's how so I know. So it actually is probably a level one hundred tree. So how it works is, the game does some funky math in regards to the the weapon yeah. or the tool you're using, your current level and the level of the item. I think it tries to meet it in the middle. Yeah, and so like I've, I've had them before where a tree said 44 plus and it was 44 out of 44 plus, but when I was hitting it, I was only getting 39. Yep, yeah. So I, it was probably like a level 50 tree or some shit, you know. All but right. By the way, if you wanna know how to do, if you wanna get your level up quick, I watched the video on YouTube. So basically what this dude did is he, he built a toboggan and he put a level six forest or forager module on it. So he collected a ton of shit. Then he went into a hard area and just drove around collecting cattails. And he said it took him about an hour or two. And he went from level 42 to level 52. Oh, shit. And so literally he would just go all around. And by the time you make one lap, everything is respawned. And so he would just drop all the cattails because the toboggan can hold 999 in every slot. So you would drop the fucking cattail, 
and then he would just fucking roll around again and you his fucking experience bar even a level 52 was just working its fucking way all the way around oh, okay that's good to know for exploits i guess uh, I, don't I have a couple forager uh, uh, things as well. So. You want to max it. You want a six out of six. If you don't have it, it won't work as well. I, you could still do it, but I mean, it took him like probably five, not even five minutes to get a, t a two thousand cat tail or some shit. Like he probably collected. Killing, killing the yellow, uh, the yellow rupu <laughs> give a gives a bunch of experience. Like just being in this tile and killing. The couple that I did, uh, I've, I've gone up a couple levels. And I think it's the pack. There's a potion that actually increases the experience that you get from them. Ah, uh, let me see. There he is. Right now too. I thought it was the pack the desert meal. Uh, no, no, no. Jojo Mojo. Oh, jeez, I need to get that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's pretty easy to make. A couple. Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple when I get back. Because, and then you uh, literally just go around and do Rupu camps for like, I don't even know how long it'll last, 10 minutes. Well, I'm, I'm kind of farming ceramic shards just by hitting the, the yellow Rupu. <laughs> oh, I'm almost out of ash. And I'll be heading back. Oh, it's your shit. <laughs> All good, man. I guess it's also pretty good because it. There is uh, another hard tile quite near. Okay, I'll go check there now. Stop the timer. Yep. <clears throat> About 20 minutes. 20, 20 and a half minutes. So 20 minutes is it? Okay. You know, I wonder if you could attach a harpoon to a tree, hit H on the dinghy, and just have it go around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I, I. Maybe like that works. We need to try. Maybe that works. <laughs> um, at, at a certain point, it'll snap. Yeah. yeah. Plus, when you hit H, you're going to go straight. There you go. <laughs> hey, so then just do that on the toboggan and just fucking hit H and just let it go around harvesting all that shit, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. After one round, it's done. You'd probably do better to put a build a barrier base and then harpoon yeah. into it. Cause the tree doesn't have much hit points, but a barrier base does. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Your science you right a, here. You build a pack base that goes around and it's just Okay, you know, I just harpooned into a barrier base and I'm gonna hit zero. Hit 
H and just let it do its thing. I think it just keeps trying to go straight. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not breaking. It's quality one. There it goes. Yeah, it'll just snap. Alright, well, let's let's think about this uh, in a different way. What if we used actual, like, wooden walls and the ship just kept running into, uh, like, and we built, like, an octagon of death kind of thing. And it just went around in the octagon bouncing off walls and whatnot. It still can be considered moving, right? Then still, Swifty. Oh, no, don't harpoon me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. It's a joke. Oh. Oh, fire. Fuck. Real? <laughs> she went straight through you. God damn. They haven't worked out how to ignite people yet. That would be fucking horrible. That's what I was testing. Vietnam War type shit. And it only did like freaking 10% damage. I love the smell of napalm in the... Bloodstone and fire. All right, yeah, so like fiber okay. arrows are worthless against people. The door right, over here I'm obliterated the village. I've got over a hundred clay for you. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 dingy, 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 dingy. dingy party, baby. And then I'm probably gonna head to sleep just so I can get up. I'm gonna plan to get up around. I'm gonna say 6:30 to 7, and then I'm just gonna farm tiles. That's right. what I'm wearing. It's gonna consist of Swifty. I'm gonna leave the farming of the trees up to you because you're higher level, and you've. Uh, I am too embarrassed about the whole not knowing about the Rupu pelts thing. Oh, dude, it's your fault. Like, I didn't, I didn't know it for a long time. I was like, someone was like, "Yeah, you just use Rupu pelts," and I was like, "I fucking can. It won't let me." He's like, "Are you using an advanced station?" I was like, "Yeah. Why would I use anything else?" And he's like, "Because you fucking have to use the regular one." That's yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the moment I'm having right now. <laughs> Uh, because in my, okay, so initially I was like, oh, I need fiber, I'll just use Rufu pelts, and I was like, oh, wait, I don't have the, f <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know, for some reason in my mind, I didn't connect making the fiber working station, because I, yeah, again, yeah. I thought, why make a fiber working when you just have the advanced, you know? Yeah, which I think is dumb that it does, like, you shouldn't have to need both, I think. Who made, because the who made a bunch of hammocks in the middle island? And stomping stations. Where are you here? Yeah, I'm in the. I'm. I'm coming in. Top. So that was my little base that I repurposed into a newer base, gotcha. and that's. I still use those stomping stations if I want to like make a shit ton of water or yeah. stuff, but it's really only for water because the advanced ones are all inside. Yeah. So you can't place a chest on a spider, but you can pack them into a spider, right? In a normal spider, not a ballista. Yeah. So I'm going to make three chests and pack the three chests into the spider. What you think your materials will do? Probably gonna get off here in a minute. What? Um, no, I'm good. Yep. Hey, Gleeker, can you come over here real quick? Yep, I'm um, away. I am in my dinghy though. Just What'd you do? Well, I dropped uh, these. Uh, I dropped these chests right here on the ground, but it says yeah. that they're owned by you, and so you got to drop them on my base in order to make them mine. Gotcha. Yeah, so I dropped I dropped some campfires right next to Rotor's campfire, and it automatically was claimed by Rotor, so I don't know how that works. I'm assuming because you have a fiber working station here, but I dropped them right yeah. in front. Yeah, I think it's because you, you, uh, 
Nice structure. Just drop them on the floor anyway. Thank you. But yeah. How, like did, you, how did you pack up? How did you pack them up being over here away I'm from I'm an officer. <laughs> Everything is mine. Thank you, dog. Have you ever tried any of this, uh, Uncle John's, uh, Trifty? It's a Michigan-made uh, hard cider. It's I have nice. not, but I'll have to try that in like. It is very, months. it is very nice. It is dangerously good. Well, Dora, you should uh, disassemble your wings and get somebody to put small wings on for. Yes. Huh. Small wings yeah, are uh, kind of much faster. Can you do small wings, Swifty? For what? A dinghy. I can not. I think. Uh, oh no, I don't have Bastion any. Bastion can. No, I can't. Uh, I'm on. I'm almost there. Uh, Bastion. I put it uh, in the. Uh, Bastion, gotcha. I can do it. Where's Shaft Fiber and Rope? Hey, we got the shit on me. Uh, I'm gonna refill Torque off of your uh, windmills. Is that a fi Is that okay? For my dinghy. Swifty. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. I was. Can I refill my uh, torque on your windmills? Yeah, go for it. Dope. Twenty-five or ten stone. Five or I think we got a good little group going here. One fiber. What um. What are fragments used for after you max out your tree? Tiles. You use them to get uh, tablets. Tablets. Okay. I keep calling them tiles for some reason. There, Blador, you okay. have small wings. Awesome. And that's it. It's faster? Yeah, yes. and you're not as visible. Yes. That's the important part. And I can see more. <laughs> yeah. See more butts? Do we have a see more butts in the building? <laughs> Someone loves citizens. Alright. Let's get this dinghy going. Party bus. Is anybody able to make a uh, smasher? Uh yeah. I can. Smash. Get Swifty to make it, he can make better ones. Yeah, Swifty. The new craft guy out of out of the group. <laughs> well, I mean, anybody can make the better ones. It's just, I think Gleeker and Swifty have all the higher quality materials right now. We do. Uh, I have a. I have a. Fucking almost out of wood. We gotta uh, compare. Yeah, I have a bunch of wood, so we gotta compare notes on uh, quality materials uh, that we got. Uh, where's the bastion? So if I use a better like uh, a team that was with higher quality materials I'll yield more when I use that machine? Is that how that works? No. Or I'll just get... You'll just get a higher quality. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go so try to excuse the fucking shit that I'm sending you. I'm just gonna send you screenshots of all the shit that I have. That way I don't have to type it out and fucking make notes and stuff. And I, then you can just look and I was go, just gonna oh, look. Awesome. I was just gonna look at it. You know what? That would probably be better than me sending you like 16 screenshots. Okay, I like all the tier 20 stone you have. Oh, tier 40 stone. I really I like know. that as well. Uh, I had a friend give that to me though. I don't have an advanced pickaxe. I need an advanced I'm about pickaxe. to make an advanced pickaxe once I get all this ceramic uh, put together. So you and me, I, I have the research for it. So I will, we will go in together on uh, an advanced pickaxe. If you're with that. <clears throat> we'll, we'll both get one after this I have a bunch of uh, I have two stacks uh, Like 206 level 1 Cattail Which isn't I have, great I have, some higher, I have some higher quality cattail But not a lot, not enough to make a difference yet uh, Every morning I've been farming a little bit But it, it's, it's not enough to make any high tier 
bro, I hate how fucking scarce the quality materials are on this tile. I'm not gonna lie. The, uh, see, the wood is actually really, uh, there's an abundance of it if you look at the, the map. But the, I haven't found, I found one tier 100 fiber, but it's, it's literally one bush out of it. So you get like six tier 80 fiber when you farm it, and it's very annoying. And it's not worth it. I and I forget to farm it all the time because I don't know why. But yeah, it's it's a little and a little and very. That's how you enter. <laughs> I saw that. Bro. That was nice. Swung in okay. like Spidey. All right. Uh, so I need charcoal. Whatever this rope is left over, I filled the thing up with cattail and you keep it. Uh, oh, thanks, dog. I appreciate it. Can you get Bastion's base out real quick so I can see how much uh, charcoal he has saved up? Much uh, ship. Because I need, uh, I think 50 was the magic number. Okay, I've got 25 regular. Three level fifteen. Uh, it doesn't. the The quality actually doesn't change. Um, the burn duration. For some reason, I think that they should change that. But you know, it is what it is. Well, I have um thirty. Okay. All right. I will take it. I th think I will have enough after that, which is cool. All right. I'm dropping it on my. Y'all really should break that fucking barrier base. It's goddamn annoying. We really should. It's stupid. You can break it with just a normal fucking. Oh, I can break it. By hitting it with your <laughs> weapon. I know, but I can break it. Are oh, you fuck. done with the base rotor? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if, if you're not, then I'll, I'll leave it out, but otherwise, I was going to pack it up. We broke, this, we broke this firefly apart, but its body will not go away. Yeah, I just burned it. It's zero hit oh, points okay. now. Oh, I guess I had a packed structure in it. That's why it, uh... Oh, this is mine. What? I'm gonna just sell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not yours. It's, I broke it all the way so you can unpack it. Yeah, but, um... Does it go away at some point? There's, there's no base in this dinghy, man. It did. I, I I unpacked the base, and it was uh, it was one of my fiber working stations for some reason. Uh, yeah, this this uh, cooker dinghy has no base. Sure. And then I'm gonna spend the night at the hard tile because. Hey, Gleeker, I fucking did it again. Can you come fucking pop one of these chests in there? <laughs> I dropped it to push shit in it, and now I fucking... Uh, I'm retarded. <laughs> Can you dismantle this other woodworking station over yes, here? Yes, yes. Wait, that wasn't the one that was in the base? No, that was... that. This how was did another I, one. How did I disassemble the other one? Then? That no. doesn't make any sense. Holy shit. Blinker, <laughs> uh, come here. Can I, come get off here a minute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have charcoal? No, it's his base. Okay, cool. Can you store a torque battery that has torque oh, in I'm it? I'm stuck in the... Hey, uh... I oh, never mind, I'm free. Alright, let's oh, see. So I can put it back up. Uh... What charcoal? No. No. Uh... Let me check his campfire. Bye. Right Do you need the base? Um, well, there's no charcoal in it, so I'm gonna chop down some wood and then go for it. So yeah, you can put it back up. Are you heading off? Probably. All right, I'm gonna head off at 12. Oh, I got two more charcoal if you want. Oh, dope! I would love that. It's right uh, here in wait. This campfire. I don't want to stay on for another 20 minutes running this stupid It's in his game. Right and then, I'll, would I'll you, do it. when you get a chance, pack this up for me. I would appreciate do you, it. Uh, do you like that backpack, Fedor? Do I pack it out? Do yeah. I just oh, assemble dude. it? 
No, um, you go to your ship and then pack Hold on, it. Hold on, make you a medium crafting pouch, too. Okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, you're right, you're right. What's the biggest water one? I just the use improvised bottles because they're easy to make. And your water container ends up breaking a lot. Builder's got the freaking attack dinghy over here. I didn't know what the uh, the weird ballistas, were, the, the tall one, how those work. So I just threw them on there just to see. Still I could really never know. get that. I could never get them to work for me. So uh, Bastion could though. So maybe you should talk to him. The one on the front works. Though. I won't even use the one on the side. Uh, an object is blocking this item. Where do you want this? Just anywhere, and then I'll pack it back up since I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I'll put it next to the fiber working. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. No problem, man. Uh, for the good of the clan, I will make these hundred shards of ceramic. Uh, a little yeah, less than should. 100 because it's super inefficient, I think. Yeah, there's blue door. I've got I've got a bunch of fragments. I need to go and fucking use torque in order to make. I was thinking about doing that with my uh, T the the tablets. Yeah, because I've got enough to go. I'm get about to. Tablets. Hey, hey. I will give you six tablets tomorrow morning. Because all I'm going to do tomorrow morning is get up and farm tablets. So I have about three, I tell you I have what, three tablets worth. I absolutely hate going into the hard zone. Okay. I fucking can't stand it. Gotcha. If you wanted to, you could. I would pay you like um, an extra 15 fucking fragments uh, per tablet. So like if you do a tablet run for me and you do 400 and you get six of them for the four... That would be an extra like 60 fragments. I would give you like 460, and then the 60 you could just fucking keep for yourself. All right, take this bag. So if you give me 400 tablets and I give you six, you give me for each of the hundred fragments that I gave you, mm -hmm. I would give you like an extra 15, which isn't much right now, but I'd probably do an extra 25 at some point. And then I would yeah. provide you with the torque for my windmills. So all you'd have to do is just run it, and then you're getting extra fragments just for Rotor, who are you talking doing to? a run for me. Oh, door. Oh, okay. Okay. On your little platform. Hey, this chest right here. Uh, man, that's his. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, give. You should give me the fragments right now, though, so I could, uh, and, and remember how many you there give you me. Uh, That'll hold stacks of 250. And I'll yeah. the other 13. I need you to hold on here. I need you to pack away these modules for me, though, because I'm not going to get my Sleto out tonight. And then also these sh Shattered Fragments. <laughs> do you want me to hold on to the Shattered Fragments that I get, or do you want to? Um... I can, I can I can turn them into uh, back into into the regular fragments. So yeah, I, I also I can. Just, oh okay. Also, yeah. So I can, if you could hold on to those shattered fragments for me uh, till tomorrow. I'm gonna put on. I'll show you where I'm gonna put on. Um, and then I also need a fuck ton of torque. So I'm gonna fill both of my torque batteries for tomorrow. Don't do that because they uh it would do the last moment that they just Yeah, I'm gonna get off soon though, so it's not gonna Alright. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm planning for tomorrow. And then I have a bunch in my ship. Alright, so I got a bunch of charts charts that I think so I separated, uh, well, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you, I, I just separated so that mine would be on the left, yours would be on the right, is what I did, so that's four? why I put those on the middle. What about so these the, 47? 
You keep them. And then gotcha. I'll get you, right. I told you 15 per, I'll give you the other 13 uh, or whatever I get. I'll go farming tomorrow and get you the rest of them, I promise. Okay, so 15 per tile. Yeah, yeah I, honestly, what I'd like to do is do 25 per so that after you do a run for me at four, you're getting an extra Yeah, run. 25 would be that's cool, what I, mean. I, I get that you, you got to focus on resources right now. Well, I just I'm didn't fine. have it. If I would have it, I would have given it to you. I'm fine with running around doing uh, the tiles, or the tablets. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. So if you uh, wanted what I could do, and I don't want to, I don't, like... I'm not saying that you have to do this, like it's up to you. You have to do it, Glee. But if what you wanted to do was, um, if I never touched foot in the hard zone, I'd be a happy camper. Yeah. But if you wanted to, I could just farm the fuck out of shit here. I could get like high quality fucking nomad cloth, start making some really high quality weapons that last longer, some high quality mm -hmm. tools for everyone. And then if people want, they can just bring me ceramic shards and shit. And I would just say, if you just bring me enough to make something for myself, I'll fucking provide shit for everyone. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're trying to do. That's me and Bastion. We're trying to bring back enough ceramic shards. Me personally, I'm trying to bring back a whole chest full every time I go. But you know, it's hard to. Um, if like those sing blades, if you could keep like providing those, like I, <coughs> I know Bastion. I know you don't like people specializing, but I think Swifty really wants to specialize. Well, I actually already did. We in the last clan, there were people yeah, who were going for walkers. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to force you into that role. It, it, we don't want to say like, okay, you are now responsible for everything we need because right. we I all want to be self-sufficient. Self -sufficient. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, I, and, and that's I, fine. I do specialize in weapons and armor, though. I have everything except for. A couple of things that need tablets. Like I've okay. only got a couple of things that need tablets. Let me say something here. Uh, yeah. So it's not it's not that uh, uh, that we're against someone specializing. If you love doing this quality shit, figuring it out, and stuff, go ahead, do it, and offer it. And uh, what I'm saying is, no one for, no one forces you to do that. So if you wanna go and do that for a day, or do this or something else, you're fine. You go like rupu fighting for fun or go well, no tvping i don't mind uh, there's no obligation to do what you do if you want to do it good if you, you want to do something else for yourself hey go go ahead we're all I just, individuals I love doing this. we are all individuals we're all playing the game like we want to play it that's that's essentially what yeah. we want to have the people do and it's absolutely cool if we have people that specialize in stuff like you do and like uh gleeker do uh super um but don't feel obligated if you do want to do something else then go ahead but i the only thing what i want is that we all get consolidated here we're all kind of the same level, same within high grade. And we have some more guys coming in. Lazat will bring some guys. If they are low yeah. level, they will uh, need help as well. We need to consolidate them into the, you know, into our levels. And maybe even the Australians are talking now about. We have some Australians from Eve uh, that are in the game as well now, but on the on the other side. And um, thinking about coming here and uh, filling and using, you know, using the time zone shift for, for their for their uh, game uh, for their advantage. You know? Yeah. Um. So, at once we're all kind of maxed out on what what on on this level right now with sing blades, you know, triple stitch, blah blah blah. Um, and uh, then we're gonna plan on building a raiding ship and start doing fun things um, as a group, as a group. But until then, Edward, do you need some bandages? Um, <laughs> Here, take take uh, take like four or five of these aloe bandages. Um, where you at? So. Yeah, and once we're, uh, but we need to consolidate as a group, and then we're gonna make fun things stuff as a group, you know, activity, 
raiding some assholes over in the hard tiles or something like that. Uh, whatever, but we're, but we're, <laughs> but we're doing it on our own pace and, and, yeah. and keep it cool and casual so nobody is under pressure to do anything, you know, too fast. Right. I had a st I had, uh, 300 sterile bandages made. I get my base got raided back in the other tile. I was pretty oh, cool. Three, 350 actually. Oh, sterile bandages. I, I don't best. even freaking farm aloe vera anymore. I just go buy some every day and make bandages. Dude, I got a stack of a thousand in like six or seven minutes. It's so easy to get. If you use a scythe, you get like 17 per hit. Dude, yeah. it's like so fucking crazy. And you can only hold so many fucking stacks. Yeah. I just buy it whenever uh, I go to pick up the stuff from my vault left that I put up for sale. Yeah, that's another way to do it. I mean, there are several ways, many ways to roam. Uh, um, I've got a lot of slots as well that I, I don't... If you want to go beyond level 5 with your ship, uh, craftsmanship and, and, and therefore ship level, module uh, uh, capacity and stuff, Hey, I need to be loaded up with Ash uh, ASAP before I, I, I log for the night. So when I get up in the morning, uh, I can just go and, and get more clay and whatnot. Uh, the, all the Ash I had were, were in the corners. Gotcha. Alright, so you guys need bandages? I just made a hundred. Yeah. No, no, I just... Bedor runs around with half his uh, health here. So that's why I was asking. Um... Yeah, so let's get our shit together and, and stuff, and uh, the new guys will come soon too. And I think we'll have then a decent size of like eight, ten, maybe. We'll that is more wood in these cookers. And uh, yeah, I will. I will start chopping some wood. Um, just so, just for the morning, I'm gonna pick so it up. So that's that's okay. Because I just checked the cookers; they were all out of water. Some people take out of water. Everyone who takes water put puts in some dirty water. Mm. Okay. Um, I, I'm I'm guilty myself, so I will start doing that as well. Although yeah, I, I I I filled them up this morning, uh, so cooked all day for the ashes. Uh, these, cook these four cookers here are our main provider for the ash for the ceramic shards. So everybody needs to get in to keep going. going oh yeah, Budor, name your, oh, your so dinghy you're something. You're just using the cookers. You're just using the cookers to make ash, but you're also getting water from it. Yes. Yeah. Because we're keeping them out in the open, it's not. It's not like. Uh... You know, super high risk. A lot of people who are gonna smack the the, the campfires are gonna be low level, and they'll just see a bunch of ash in there, and they won't yeah. really take that. Especially the high quality ash, they can't really sell that easily. It doesn't matter. It's not. It's not exactly a hard to come by. 